Hi everyone, welcome back to Sam and Cod Playtime. I am ready to play with you all today. In the last video, we talked about how to break up a whole number into lots of little pieces, into ten pieces, actually. Do you remember that? We used our decimal point, and this one's a really cute little one. <laughs> I like this one a lot. And when we broke our number up, we broke it up into ten different pieces, okay? And we put them all right here. The numbers 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. And when we reach 10, we actually got, let me get a different marker here. I'm so sorry. Let me get a different marker. That's when we would get our whole number. When we had all 10 pieces, we would have one whole number. Okay? Now, what if you wanted to break up a number in more than 10 pieces? You can absolutely do that. You just need an extra spot here to do it in. So we're going to do that extra spot in red just to make it a different color. There we go. We just add another spot down here. Now we're breaking the number one into 100 pieces. You go from 10 pieces, which is this one right here, to 100 pieces. Can you imagine having a hundred pieces of something? That's a lot. So how would we do that? Well, we would start with the number one. There's the number one. This is just a zero. It's just a placeholder right now. And this is our dot. So we'd have one, two, two parts of 100. Okay. Then we would do three, three pieces of 100, okay? And it would go on and on and on. You could get to, what if you had 42 pieces of 100? Well, that's getting closer to the number one, isn't it? Because we would have 42 pieces, okay? We can keep going. And what if we had 64? Let's go with 64. What if we had 64? four pieces out of a hundred. Remember when you reach a hundred you have the number one because we've broken the number one up into a hundred pieces. Okay? So what happens if we had ninety let's say ninety seven. Ninety seven pieces of a hundred. Well that's a lot. Ninety seven is almost a hundred. That's a huge number. So let's go ninety seven. Ninety eight. Okay. What if we had 99 pieces? That means we only lack one piece. What happens if we've got 99? What happens when this hits 100? 99, oh, 100. What happened? When we had 100 pieces out of 100, we got our number one back. We have one whole number because we have all the pieces. We broke our number one up into a hundred pieces. That's two spots over. When we have all 100 pieces, we get our number one back. There's our number one. There's our number. That's how that works. That's pretty cool, isn't it? So just to kind of show you, if we break up a number, this is getting really messy, isn't it? We break up a number if we only have, wow, this is really messy. If we only have one spot next here, right here, next to our little decimal point, that means we've broken a number up into 10 pieces, okay? But if we have two slots right here, we have one, two uh, places where you can put numbers after the decimal point, that means we've broken the number up into 100 pieces. That's a lot of pieces. I do not have 100 blocks right here. I don't even know if I have 100 blocks in my house. I'm sure I probably do, but I am not finding all those today. That's a lot of blocks. But this, this space right here is if you break your number up into 10 pieces. And this spot right here is if you break it up into 100 pieces. And that's a lot. What do you think comes next if we had a spot over here? If we had a spot over here, it would go tens, hundreds, thousands. That means we would have broken the number one up into a thousand pieces. And it would take one thousand pieces.
5 to equal the number 1. And that is a, I don't even want to think about a thousand blocks on this table. It would take up the whole table. It would be an entire table full of blocks. That's way too many blocks. But we can do it. So it goes a thousand, one hundred, ten, and there you go. That's what we got. So we're going to take this thousand off because that's way too much for my brain to think about today. But remember, this is just like fractions. Remember how we were talking about fractions? Let's write this as a fraction. If we had a point of a number, remember this number represents 10. What is that? That's a fraction. This little dot right here represents a fraction of a number. It represents a part of a number. Okay? So we can put a little imaginary 10 down here and it's a fraction. If I had two, let's put them right here, two blocks out of my 10, I would have 0.2, but you can think of that as 2 over 10, because there's your fraction right there. That's how many blocks I have right now. I have two parts out of 10, and it takes 10 things to make the next number. Okay, did you understand that? Okay, let's try that again. What if I had four blocks right here? If I had four, one, two, three, four. I put four right here. And I'd have four over ten because I started with ten blocks. It takes ten blocks to make the number one. Okay, it takes ten things to make the number one. And I have four out of those ten right here. Now, when we use a decimal, we use the little decimal so that we don't have to write that and we don't have to write that. It would just look like this. It would look like 0.4. But when we see this 0.4, we know that that equals 4 out of over 10 because we have 4 pieces out of 10. And that's what this decimal means. It means that we have some pieces out of 10 or out of 100. Okay, that's what this decimal point means. It means we're talking about a fraction. It means we don't have a whole number, we just have a part of a number. We just have pieces, okay? If we had the whole number, we'd have all 10 pieces. But right now, we only have part of it, and that's what this decimal point means. It means we have a part of a number, okay? It's the same thing. Because remember, this spot right here, is out of 10. Okay? All right. Let me get my eraser back here so we can erase this off just a little, little bit. Now, remember, the first number that goes right here is always out of 10. It means you have, you've broken your big number up into 10 pieces. Now, if I add a second line right here, remember how that equaled 100 pieces? It means that we've broken something up into 100 pieces. Well, that's the same as if you had a fraction with 100 on the bottom. Whatever goes in these spots is what would be over 100. So let's say that we had 12. Let's say that we had 12 pieces out of 100. We had point 12 or decimal point 12. That would be the same as saying we have 12 pieces out of 100. We don't have the full 100, we can't make a full number, but we have some pieces out of it. And that's what that decimal point means, okay? I hope you understood that. It's really easy once you get it. I like breaking numbers apart. I like that numbers can be like Legos and that you can break them apart. Even if it's like the number one or the number two or the number three, you can still break it apart. And it's really fun because I like building things and I like pieces, and I like playing, and that's all decimal points are. They're just, oh, well, I made that worse, didn't I? Here we go. I'm trying to get it to where it's solid colors. There we go. That's all decimal points are. They're just taking a number and breaking it apart and making it really fun. I hope you all had fun with me today. We are Salmon and Cod Playtime. Please remember to like and subscribe, and we will see you next time, okay? All right. Bye.